Luba Mini Odd 800H Robot Lawn Mower. Just looking at this thing, you can tell it's built for more than your average lawn. It's got a sturdy, compact design, rolls on chunky all-wheel drive wheels, and to me, it kind of looks like a little futuristic tank that's ready to tackle anything your yard throws at it. I've had mine for a while now, and honestly, I was a bit skeptical at first about how much it could really handle, given all the tall promises about slopes and obstacles. But after using it for several months through different weather, I've got a pretty clear picture of its strengths and a couple of quirks. In this video, I want to share my hands-on experience and some quick review points to help you decide if this mower's for you. Talking about key features, this mower comes packed with tech, but what stood out to me right away was the odd all-wheel drive system. That isn't just for show. My yard has a couple of areas with pretty steep slopes and some rough spots that give regular mowers a hard time. The Luba Mini took it all in stride, powering up hills that would make most other robotic mowers spin their wheels or get stuck. If you've ever pushed a regular mower up a 38-degree bank, you'll appreciate not having to do that anymore. All-wheel drive just gets the job done without drama. One thing I worried about was how smart these sensors and navigation actually were. Setting up a robot mower always brings up the question, is this machine going to chop up my flower beds or get lost under the trees? The Luba Mini uses this UltraSense AI vision system, paired with RTK navigation. If you're new to these terms, RTK is a special GPS that's way more accurate than the one in your phone, so the mower knows exactly where it is, even near trees or along your patio. UltraSense means there's a little camera and some visual processing going on, so it can spot the edge of your lawn, avoid rocks or dog toys, and even recognize when it needs to stop for a rain shower. In my experience, it's been incredibly reliable. Mapping out my yard on the app took a bit of time, especially getting the RTK antenna set up in a clear spot with access to the sky, but after that, it just works. The app walks you through everything, and after mapping, I hardly ever need to touch those settings. Mapping and defining mowing zones is another area this mower makes easy. From my experience, you can set up to 20 zones, which is honestly more than enough for my front yard, backyard, side strips, and a couple of no-go areas, like around the pool and flower beds. I was able to draw these borders in the Memotion app, which, by the way, is super user-friendly. If you're worried about messing things up, don't be. You can tweak the zones, move lines, or even quickly set a new pattern whenever you want. That's a big reason I'd recommend this for homeowners who want a lot of control, but don't want to spend hours learning a complicated system. A quick review of the app experience, it's probably the best robotic mower app I've used so far. You can start mowing, stop, or check on it anywhere using your phone, whether you're at home or out. The 4G, Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi connectivity all work together to give you real-time updates. I get notifications right away if something's up, like if the mower needs to recharge or gets picked up by someone. That leads me to security. These things aren't cheap, so knowing it locks up and sends me a notification if it leaves the property brings me some peace of mind. Plus, you can even hide an AirTag in it to track it if you're really worried. Obstacle avoidance on the Luba Mini is top-notch. It sees over 200 different types of obstacles, including pets, shoes, toys, and even smaller garden tools. There's a bumper for physical backup, but honestly, rarely uses it because the sensors work so well. I noticed the mower would see branches and avoid them, instead of just bumping and backing up like my old robot mower used to do. The rain sensor also works like a charm. It starts sprinkling, and the mower heads right back to charge. I didn't need to worry about it chewing up wet turf or getting stuck in the mud. Night mowing with this thing was surprising for me. The built-in LED headlight isn't just for show. It actually lets the mower work at night, and it's super quiet. I had to get together with friends on my patio and let the mower do its thing in the background after dark. No noise. No smoke, no interruptions, just a tidy lawn by morning. If you've got kids or pets or just don't want to be bothered by daytime mowing, this is a really nice bonus. On maintenance, I'll be honest, robotic mowers, including this one, still require a bit of love. The blades are easy enough to swap out, and after running it for weeks, I've found cleaning off the wheels and clearing any grass buildup is pretty straightforward. It's IPX6 rated, which means it can be sprayed or hosed off. I purposely got mine muddy after a rain and washed it off just to check. No problems at all. I'd skip the pressure washer though, just a garden hose is enough. Battery life on the Luba Mini is solid in my opinion. It runs long enough to fully mow my quarter acre yard, takes itself back to the charger, and picks up right where it left off. 
I've never had it die in the middle of a job after I set up the charging location properly. The cutting width is just about 8 inches, so it's probably not for giant ranches, but for typical yards, even with some thick or tall grass, it doesn't bog down. I also want to talk about one of its coolest features, 3D lawn printing. This is basically a function where you can pick patterns, or even letters, and the mower will lay them out in your grass. I tried it out with initials, and honestly, it looks way better than I expected. It's a bit of fun and another thing that sets it apart from boring straight-line mowers. Now, let's talk about who this is really for. The Luba Mini Odd 800H is perfect for small to medium-sized yards with challenging parts, slopes, bumps, spots where you've got to mow close to patios or flower beds. From my experience using it, the smart mapping and obstacle avoidance together actually work, and the app makes it simple, even if you've never used a yard robot before. If you're someone who wants a set-it-and-forget-it machine for uneven terrain, or just hates pushing the lawnmower in summer, this is worth a look. A few things to keep in mind, though. The initial setup, finding a good spot for the RTK antenna, placing the charging dock, and mapping your zones, does take some patience. You'll want to read the directions and maybe watch some quick videos in the app to get it right. The mower itself is heavier than it looks, which is mostly a good thing for stability, but just know you won't want to carry it around the yard every day. As with anything, regular cleaning and blade checks will keep it running at its best, and software updates through the app help keep things smooth. In conclusion, the Luba Mini Odd 800H Robot Lawn Mower has made my lawn care routine way easier. I rarely touch a push mower anymore, and I get more time to actually enjoy my weekends. All-wheel drive makes a huge difference on hills. The automatic mapping and obstacle sensors save me from worrying about accidents, and the app control is as easy as it gets. If you're after a reliable robotic mower that won't get confused or stuck, especially if your yard isn't flat, I'd recommend this for you. I will leave all the information about the Luba Mini ADU 800H Robot Lawn Mower in the comments. I hope to see you again in the following videos.